All right, welcome back to What's It Wednesday, episode two. You made it a whole week. This is, as some of you guessed, many of you guessed, this is a bobcat. So good work. It's a little bit too big. Actually, it's about two times the size of a house cat skull, unless you have a really, really big, big house cat. Their bones are extremely hard compared to house cats as well. At Shintimini Wildlife Center, which is the uh, place where I volunteer, we do wildlife rehabilitation. We got a bobcat in a while ago, and he had broken his, I believe it was his shoulder blade and collarbone. And we had to drill into the shoulder blade to put in um, pins and whatnot. And we had standard bone drills that you use on a normal cat. And we broke like four of them. They are incredibly tough little animals. And they are extremely vicious. Way, way more vicious than you would expect. Bobcats. They're awesome little animals. They're super cute and sweet when they're babies. And they turn into little demons as soon as they... uh, Start hitting puberty. So a lot of people try and keep them as pets. Bad idea. Super bad idea. Don't do it. Bobcat skull. So, congratulations to all of you who guessed that correctly. Now, for our second guest. This is not um, an actual skull. It would be illegal for me to own this. Well, I mean, I suppose I could get permits to own one of these. So this is a Bone Clones replica, and an extremely well done replica as well. I'm not like I'm not 100% sold on the beak here, the the painted on beak, but other than that, this is the most beautiful replica that I've <laughs> I think I've ever seen of a bird skull. It's absolutely detailed. Like look at that, you can see all the texture. It even had uh, the original specimen that they had. Um, it must have been like a, a tumor or something going on here. Um, you can even see the the actual character from the original individual they took this from. Notice that's not on the other side. So this thing, uh, yeah. Beautiful. Let's look at the, there's the little bone clones stamp so that you don't get arrested for owning an illegal skull. Um, <laughs> by the way, most, uh, actually all birds of prey, if this is a bird of prey, <laughs> I'm giving away too many hints, all birds of prey are protected by federal law in the United States. You can't own any bits or pieces of them. <laughs> Little tiny little tiny opening, opening up into a fairly large brain case. It's, I mean, most of it's like space for the eyes. You can see there, you know, it's just empty there, but birds do have fairly large brains compared to like a, a reptile or something. It's neat, the, the this space here is also found on T-Rex and, you know, dinosaurs. A lot of people on a T-Rex, they'll think that that's where the eye goes because um, it's actually back a little bit further. There are three holes on a T-Rex. There's a hole right here. There's a hole for the eye. Then there's this hole. Then there's the nose hole on a, on a theropod dinosaur. And this is a bird, obviously. I think... Uh, no one's going to be confused about that, so I might as well just tell you this is a type of bird. And birds, of course, evolved from dinosaurs, and so they have these similar bone structures. Look at that beak. It's a nice little cup shape at the bottom. Fits into the top here just like a... Just perfect. So there you have it. Let me know what you think this is in the comments. And if you're right, you will be right on the internet. Congratulations.